In the last video, we sorted your data and got it into uploaded into your uh, Excel sheet. And now we're going to create a histogram. On your other paper, you created class widths. And I'm using a different set of data, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and put my class widths in here. I'm copying it from another pay, uh, sheet and then just right click and put that in there. If I want to, I can make my columns a little wider so I can see all of that. The next column is going to be upper. It's actually an upper bin is what they call it. I'm just going to call it upper. And that's going to be the largest value that you see for each of your separate classes. So if I copy that, I left click and put my upper classes right in there. And then finally, I'm going to eventually put frequency in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that term here. Next thing I'm going to do is come over somewhere, click here, and what I want to do is create that um, histogram. I'm going to click on data analysis up in the upper right corner. This isn't always in your uh, Excel document. You might need to go to add-ins and add this on, which you can see in a different video how to do that. So uh, mine's here. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to histogram and click OK. And it's going to ask me where my input range is, which I'm going to go from uh, A1 to A67. That's where my data is. Perfect. And then it's going to ask me where my upper bins are. And I'm going to, um, if I don't want, if I don't like what's there, I can go over here and click. I'm including the labels. So I'm doing the whole thing. And I've, I've shown that now from 2 to 8. I've had this included labels thing. And I'm going to put that not here, but here. So I'm going to click on the, shell, the um, cell where I want that to start. And now I'm going to click OK. And it's going to give me a histogram that needs a lot of work, which I'm going to show you how to fix that up. Um, but also it gives me that frequency that I was looking for. So if I want to, I can copy that frequency, uh, Control C, and then I can put it over here, left, right click, paste those in there so now I have it in this box. I can uh, highlight this whole thing if I want, right click, format cells and put uh, dark lines around it to kind of make it look more like a table if I want to. And notice over here I've got some things that I don't like. For one thing, I really would like underneath here uh, to say my class width, not just the upper class width. For the second thing, I don't really want this at all. I'm just going to highlight it and get rid of it. Also, I would like my bars to touch because that's how a histogram is supposed to look. So I'm going to come up here to, um, actually I'm going to click inside there first and then click on uh, chart design. And then I'm going to go over here to quick layout on the left and I'm going to choose a layout that's what I want. And I want ones where the box is bars touch. So I'm going to choose that. And while I'm at, while I have that highlighted, I'm going to right click and I'm going to change the, um, I'm going to format, I want to outline, there we go, outline in black. So that just gives me, uh, I can better, better see what I'm doing. I can change the name of this to whatever I want it to be. Uh, this happens to be student GPA, so I can call it GPA chart. Um, and then I can down here maybe call that classes uh, because I these are the classes. But notice I have I don't have the classes. I have the upper bin. So what I'm going to do again is uh, right click there and say select data. And I'm going to edit what's on the horizontal or the the category on the x axis. Right now it's that upper, and I want class widths. So I'm going to call this, and instead of having that, I'm going to come over here and say uh, that it's this. This is what I want. And then I'm going to say OK. And now I can see that I made a mistake. And you know what? Making a mistake is not the end of the world, but I'm going to do that. Left click, select data. And when I put that in and edit it, I don't want to include the label. I want to just include the actual class widths there. So I'm going to click OK and then OK. And now you can see I have 0 to 0 0.66, 0 0.67 to 1.33, and so forth. And so that is how you're going to get your histogram completed. In the next video, we'll do a frequency polygon, so please don't go away.